Hello guys, uh, as you know, we've had the Agile conference pretty successfully last year and the, uh, we've been gathering again and again in various events. So the Agile conference by Eisenbridge that invites all of you is going to be held again December 15th to 16th. I hope you've marked your calendars. We've got here Sanjay Kumar here who's a, a Bangalore-based Agile coach and trainer. He's going to be leading the Kanban uh, theme and he's the track owner for that. He's going to be deciding what goes well. For those of you who are not familiar with him, he's a Kanban coaching professional, a certified Agile facilitator, a certified professional Agile coach, a accredited Kanban trainer, as well as a lot of Scrum uh, certifications, record, uh, including certified Scrum professional, Kanban management professional, and a safe Agileist. So, uh, since you're the Kanban theme owner, Sanjay, first of all, welcome. I hope you're looking forward to the Agile conference as uh, much as we all are, connecting with everyone uh, again. I just had some questions about uh, the Kanban theme track you're going to be managing as to what you're looking for the theme. Would you like sure, to add sure. something before we start? Uh, first of all, thanks uh, for your kind words about a uh, detailed introduction about me. Uh, yes, uh, tell me what questions we have here. Yeah. Okay, so how do you feel about being the Kanban theme owner this year? Uh, absolutely fantastic. And uh, as you mentioned, you know, uh, I am known in the Indian Agile community as more of, of a Kan Kanban guy than a Scrum guy, uh, even though you know, I know I love both of them. Uh, it depends on which, which uh, what is the need of the client and you use a little bit of Scrum, a little bit of Kanban, but one way or the other, I'm used more, I'm known more as the Kanban guy. So I'm really happy uh, to be the owner for the Kanban theme. Uh, and I'll be, I'm really excited about that. Yes. Superb. So the title of the theme uh, chosen is Kanban Beyond Myths. So what are the kind of myths you're talk, going to talk about here? Uh, yeah, so that's the unfortunate thing. And that's one of the key discussion that happens in most of my Kanban, uh, Kanban uh, trainings is uh, people in, in the industry, the agile coaches, they have uh, they, they have limited understanding of Kanban, and that's one of the main reasons why a Kanban implementation net never matures, to, you know, uh, uh, to a higher level. Uh, some myths like you know uh, Kanban is just a board, or Kanban is only for support projects, or Kanban has no roles, Kanban has, does not have any ceremonies. Uh, there are very various myths, and many of the myths are because Kanban as a concept has been in, in manufacturing industry or has been in different industries for a long, long time. Uh, but I remind people that when we are talking about Kanban in IT industry, we are basically talking about Kanban method. And to create that awareness of, you know, that Kanban in IT is more than just Kanban as a board or Kanban as a system, which was used by Toyota production system. So that is the key theme of, you know, raising people's awareness Agile coaches, scrum masters, managers have been this about Kanban, the depth of Kanban, and the different tools or metrics you have in Kanban. Very true, Sanjay. So actually, this is the question I also had in my mind. Uh, Implementation-wise, although Kanban is pretty popular and gaining popularity day by day, what do you think are the major challenges or rather mistakes that Indian companies are actually making while implementing the Kanban processes, um, maybe something that uh, this, uh, those uh, putting in submissions for the speakers could make, take a note of or highlight on, work on more? Uh, one mistake, as I mentioned, is they do not have good enough knowledge about the Kanban method. Right? Kanban method has different practices and it has different, very rich metrics. And interestingly, most of the coaching engagements have worked in the past one year they have been where, where Kanban is being used for development projects, not support projects. So you can use Kanban for development projects. And uh, so one mistake I would say to answer your question is, uh, people do not explore Kanban to its, uh, its real, uh, I would say, uh, potential, number one. And the second thing is people who realize that Kanban could help them, they use Kanban and they gain some uh, uh, initial success or if there's an initial evidence of success that they have improved as a team, as an organization, but they fail to go beyond that. 
And the reason for that is they do not use Kanban metrics. And I strongly emphasize on use of Kanban metrics. And that's one thing I'm looking from speakers in this conference that you know, bring your case studies uh, about Kanban implementation. And if you have any metrics, please bring, it, bring them along and show it to people and raise awareness about the, the power of Kanban metrics. That's actually brilliant, uh, Sanjay. I hope the attendees as well as the speaker submissions are making a note of what you're saying. Besides all this, what else kind of sessions are you expecting from the speakers? So as I men mentioned, uh, one thing is about case studies. Uh, of course, you know, uh, people have different ideas. They want to uh, raise the knowledge or awareness of people. That's perfectly fine. But if you have any case studies, especially case studies of Kanban being implemented for, let's say, development projects, or Kanban used to improve the, the agility of a team, or some people have, have, I know they have been using Kanban for safe projects also, not just at, as a Kanban board and portfolio program level, but at the team level also. So any practical implementation of Kanban you have, please bring them along and please also bring the, the Kanban metrics if you have. So that's, that's a key, really brilliant. Yeah, that's the key, key areas I'm looking for. Uh, new ideas, uh, implementations, Kanban for development projects, and of course, Kanban metrics, a deeper insight to about Kanban metrics. Okay, that uh, is actually very insightful. Sanjay, thank you for taking out the time. I really hope those attending are looking forward to all these details and those who want to put up as a put up their own sessions are making note of this valuable information and can highlight what is the need. We look forward to the Agile conference to learn more new things and have uh, esteemed speakers like you guide us. Thank I you hope so much. You guys, I hope you guys are all marking your calendars and see you there. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sanjay. Thanks, Tima.